And we're live with Austin Federa from Soul and Labs. Super happy to have you here. It's been quite a journey. How are you, man? I'm good. It's been uh, it's been quite a week. It's only <laughs> Tuesday. And last week too. And last week too. Yeah, last week never ended. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, it's been it's been really crazy. So I'm gonna put some context for um, the people who are watching us and who are not um, to put some context for them who are not familiar with Solana. Could you define us what is Solana, please? Yeah, sure. So Solana is a layer one blockchain protocol. Uh, it's focused on high transaction throughput and and uh, fast block time finality. So what this means is uh, it's able to deliver sort of a similar Web 2 experience people expect, where an action occurs and very quickly the result happens, and it has the capacity and scale to handle about 65,000 transactions per second. Currently, uh, for some context, Twitter is about 5,000 transactions per second. Uh, something like Visa or MasterCard is also around 50,000 transactions per second is where they max out. So the network's really built for global scale and global adoption of uh, blockchain technology. Yeah, yeah, and all of this without compromising composability, it's all on one single structure. Yeah, the, the underlying technology doesn't rely on sharding to achieve this. Um, so there's something called proof of history, which is a distributed clock before consensus. Gotcha. Uh, and what that really does is it allows um, the validators, when they receive transactions, to know what order they came in on. And so it means that blocks can be replayed really quickly. And it also really means that the, the process of actually finalizing a transaction is incredibly fast. So the block times right now are about 400 milliseconds. So you know you click trade somewhere, you get confirmation of that in about you know the, the longest transformation that time you'd get is about 799 milliseconds uh, if you just timed in the worst possible way. But it's all about quick block finalization um, and high transaction throughput. Additionally, the network scales as hardware improvements scale, and that's one of the the key differentiators, right? The the security and the power of Bitcoin comes from the fact that it gets harder and harder and harder to mine Bitcoin every year. It takes more and more energy. Uh, Solana is built on a paradigm where the more uh, computational power goes into the system, the more transactions per second you can do, and the faster each block becomes. And the bandwidth also, we're going to go or like we're going to go for 5G and better bandwidth for home like connections and domestic connections, so we can have more messages, more transactions. So, exactly. Yeah, this yes. is like. Yeah, it's a, it's a GPU bound uh, network, right? Yeah. Yeah, so currently today the GPU is not heavily used in yeah. the processing of transactions. So we're smart able contracts. Yeah. yeah, the smart contracts were able to get so, about 65,000 transactions per second working largely off of um, there's one particular instruction set that is really useful for this, but the long-term migration is to GPUs which will enable even faster transactions, greater parallelization, uh, all without sharding. It's super interesting, yeah. And you mentioned also the proof of history, which basically allows the, the network to function as one big computer because you don't need like to sync with the yeah, it's 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 really interesting. I wanted to you know, there's something very exciting happening for um, Solana um, in November. It's the breakpoint conference which is focused uh, around like Solana and all the projects that are building on this ecosystem. Yeah. Um, this one thing that I picked up is the Global Fellows Program. And I know that there are um, also some developers who are watching us who are still like uh, university. Would like us to tell us more about this initiative, which I find really interesting. Yeah, Global Fellows is uh, one of the initiatives we have to try and get young developers more involved in the Solana ecosystem. Um, part of what's interesting about Solana is Rust is its primary programming language. That, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of high performant programmers that use Rust, but it's generally in embedded systems and other sorts of applications. So we see a lot of people um, who are younger, who are coming up, who are really interested in Solana. They love the, the programming paradigms of it, um, but they want more hands-on exposure to the actual technology and to talk with experts who have been programming in Rust for years and these sorts of things. So the Global Fellows Program um, is sort of a fun setup to bring 50 uh, people between the ages of 16 and 24 um, to Lisbon, to Breakpoint. Um, it's a, you know, our, our goal is to cover 95% of the expenses that they might incur. It's got a large travel stipend and housing and a free ticket built in. Um, so the, the idea really is to help people um, who are students who are still starting out, who are you know, interested in where they can go, to really break that pathway right now where if, you're, if you are in computer science, if you are a software engineer, uh, you know, the big tech companies throw money at you, they throw internships, they throw jobs. Like we're trying to create an alternate path for people um, who don't have the means to necessarily do it on their own. Yeah, super interesting. It's a, it's quite a it's quite a challenge to get uh, 
yeah, to get like a good pool of developers to have it like growing. And I think that's an interesting initiative. And also to get like the Google and Facebook devs out of their job to build on a decentralized system. This is yes. also not a challenge. Yeah. So Speaking of that, there's the hackathon. Yes. Oh, so one yeah. quick thing. Applications close October 1st. So if you're interested in applying for the Global Fellows Program, you go to Solana.com slash news. You'll see a blog post there. You can join uh, and apply there. And as usual, you'll have all the needed documentation and resources in the description of the final version of that video. Speaking of developers, hackathon, and everything, there's ignition going on. Any? Yeah. Can you do a checkpoint? Any project that caught your attention? Anything special? You wanna? A few words you wanna give us about that? So ignition. The, uh, the ignition is really exciting. Uh, you know, we've been doing global hackathons. This is our our third this year. Um, but we got some great partners in this. We have, uh, you know, Jump Trading and Microsoft and One Password, who really came in and said, you know, we are we are not only going to support the development of the ecosystem here. We're going to, you know, give our engineers free reign to to build something for Solana during the hackathon. Um, you know, right now we're just starting to get project submissions in, and it's it's really exciting to see kind of what people are building. Um, we've been hosting a ton of video sessions on Twitch, which is kind of the main platform for us in terms of like developer communications for video uh, and all those are also being uh, dumped to our YouTube channel so you can you can check out some of the replays I don't want to call it any specific projects right now because uh, the submissions are still open um, but really excited to see you know I think this usually we get about 40 to 50 percent developers applying this year it's more like 80 percent um, so it's a very very heavily developer focused crowd this uh, this time for ignition oh, super interesting and now we're going for the unknowing question. People want to hear an update probably from your end. There's been an outage last week. Uh, what could you tell us uh, about it? Uh, yeah. Has been dealt with everything. Certainly. Worse. So, so the Solana uh, network went down for about 17 hours. Um, you know, between Tuesday and early Wednesday Eastern. Uh, one of the really interesting things about this was uh, there's an IDO on Radium for a protocol called Grape. Uh, there was such high demand for that that someone, uh, you know, had set up a large bot network that attempted to get in on that IDO at the lowest price they could possibly get. And, uh, you know, at, at peak, there was about 400,000, um, not just transactions, but gossip messages, the, you know, flooding around the network, uh, which overwhelmed a lot of the quality of service provisions that had been put in. And, um, you know, there, there's a more detailed technical postmortem coming in the next week or two on that. Um, but it's been a good learning experience for the network, both on how the global validator community came it's together. It's crazy on the Discord to, that, 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 like... Yeah, to both, like, diagnose the problem and then, you know, the, the restart procedures for something like this uh, require about 80% of the stake weight to um, agree on, you know, the new software package when you're doing a network upgrade. And that entire group uh, really came together pretty quickly and within about two hours and 45 minutes of the um, software package being ready. So uh, the community really came together and it took you know, uh, a bunch of time to diagnose exactly what was going on. But once you know, we had about 10 different engineering teams involved in really identifying what those core problems were and, and, and deploying some mitigations to them, once that software package was ready, it took about two hours and 45 minutes for over 400 validators around the world to upgrade uh, this software package and get the network uh, back online. So it was a real, real community effort. There's going to be more detailed technical post-mortem coming. Um, and we'll continue to roll out uh, fixes in accordance with all the global developers uh, over the next few weeks to try and uh, get things you know, cool. more bulletproof. Cool, 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 cool. And um, I mean, regarding like Solana's roadmap, um, te on technologically speaking, any like insights you can share with us on the tech developments that are coming for, for Solana? What are you guys building at the lab? Yeah, certainly. So, you know, we like to think about it. There's a bunch of work that's being done by Solana Labs. There's a ton of work that's being done by other development partners. Um, one of the core focuses now is on framework technologies. So something like Metaplex um, was, a, was a core framework technology that was created by an external group that allows anyone to spin up an NFT storefront um, in a decentralized fashion. The minting contract is on chain. All the auctions take place on chain. It really is like a fully decentralized OpenSea style experience. But then it lets a brand or a creator come in and really own that like Web2 experience of like, what do I want my storefront to look like? How do I want my NFTs to be displayed? All that sort of thing. So there's a ton of framework technologies like that um, that have, have been released recently. One of these is Stake Pools, which is a liquid staking solution natively for the Solana token. Uh, that's really catching on in DeFi. There's about six of those right now, and we've got a large amount of the stake in the network that's migrating to those solutions as opposed to being locked up 
as just purely securing the network uh, through proof of stake. Yeah. So yeah. there's a lot of interesting things coming. One of the big ones that um, developers in the community are exploring right now is fee reductions across the network. Um, which will make it, uh, you know, right right now Free. Solana, Solana, yeah. <laughs> Solana is incredibly affordable to operate on. Um, but you know, we're always looking at ways we can push that fee down to the absolute bare minimum possible. And denial, sir, like DDoS, uh, any DDoS protection, like uh, insight, like you know, to 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 prevent eventually, like a. Uh, yeah, it's certainly. So, you know, a lot of the work that's being done right now by a lot of the validator teams is on better quality of service provisions that'll make sure that votes can always get through and other network critical messaging can get through. Um, and that was, that was you know, in, in, in the context of the outage, that the flood of transactions into the network prevented a lot of these critical network messages from getting through. So the validators couldn't reach consensus on what the next block should be. Uh, which you know is is the way the network is is designed. If you can't reach consensus, it should stop moving forwards, and then that required uh, the community to come together and uh, you know upgrade yeah. the software package. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, it's been very interesting. I've been very happy to have you on that show, Austin, and I'm sure that we'll yeah. have a, a lot to talk about uh, in actually one month at Breakpoint. Maybe Sounds we'll catch great. up there. So really looking forward to yeah. that. And I know that a lot of you guys are also going to be at Breakpoint. So let's meet all there and. If you want to know more about uh, Solana and what Solana Labs are working on, you can check their website or also the knowledge base we try to set on the different aspects of that technology, whether it is sea level, Gulf Stream, uh, Pipeline, you are served. See you soon, guys. Thank you, Austin. Thanks.